Oh hey, welcome back to the Create to Inspire Corner, college edition, where I your host Coriel envy creatives and entrepreneurs from around the world, allow them to share their stories to give you and honestly myself some of the creative inspo that we need so we can go on and continue to create to inspire in our own communities. And today's special guest is a great friend of mine, his name is Marcos. I really look forward to catching up with him and for you guys getting to know him. I recently spent about a couple days with him in Guadalajara, Mexico. He's a tattoo artist, he's a drawer, Overall, just an awesome guy. I look forward to you guys meeting with him and getting to know a little bit more about his story. Let's bring him in the Zoom. Since you go to your your country, to Texas, it, it was just like so much things happened and so much emotions happened. Mm. And we miss you. I miss you too much. Uh, so yeah, I, miss I think too, one, one, one of the things that I miss more this time is hang out together and take pictures because... I used to take pictures and that's something that you bring me back to my life, you know? Wow. That's for, uh, I for have two I, weeks. Yeah. I still have the photos and I look back at them. So bro, I I know exactly what you mean, man. I miss you. Mm -hmm. And so I'm so happy that, you know, photography is able to capture even mm -hmm. like the photo that I took. I don't know if you saw my story, but I printed out one of the photos um that I took there. So and you tell me that's the last picture you're taking here in Guadalajara, no? See, see, one of the last ones, yeah. That was one of the last ones before wow. you guys were leaving. So, in the video, mm -hmm. in the video, when you guys are saying bye, remember that? When we're saying goodbye, yeah. that's a lot of meaning, you know? It's your final view here. <laughs> yeah, so it's a really good memory. Um, So, yeah, just so starting off, I know you do tattoo, you do drawing. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, your passions, and what you like to create, Marcos? Uh. I like to create since I have memory, you know? Mm. I think that's something that me makes me feel more uh, peace on my heart, inside of me, in my life. So I remember I started to draw when I was a little little boy, you know, because my mother uh, takes me from to his job and, and she tried to make me doing something. Mm -hmm. just like kind of distraction and she bring me a lot of paper and markets and pencils and scissors so I, that's the memory that I had first creating something but when I grow up I have a lot of uh, interaction mm -hmm. with music and a lot of interaction with another kind of materials and another kind of art and things like that so I was doing just like a uh a, a lot of I, I was I was catching a lot of information when I was a teenager. Hmm. Uh visual visual information, so much music, uh some books and things like that. So that's something that I was keeping inside me, inside me. And then when I grow old, uh I I just like explode, you know? Wow. And do all the things that I do. So it was like in your childhood, it was collecting all that stuff. And then now it's just you're letting it, you're letting it yes. all out. Even with the time I do the, the things that I do just by my by, by myself, you know, for me, mm -hmm. I do all those things. I, I do all the draws and the things that I do just for me. And I keep it for me. And mm -hmm. when I uh, meet people, when I make friends, the people around me, uh, see all the things that I do and they tell me that you need to share it you need to do tattoos you need to create more you need to communicate this that you have and that makes me feel better with the things that I do hmm. at first I, I only do it for me hmm. so something that started that, that you do primarily just because you enjoy it for yourself and then it's like mm -hmm. people encourage you hey you should let it out you should you should, you know, share it with other people. One thing that Lloyd, Lloyd Davis telling me about, she said, good things are for sharing them. So that reminded mm -hmm. me of what you said, too. Um, that's really good, man. Because I, I could feel the same way. Like, when I started off, I wanted to just keep everything to myself, mostly. Um, I mean, I think I there's think... value. Yeah, go ahead. When you look back, 
it's a kind of selfish if you don't share the other things that you will learn with the time, you know? Mm. It's kind of selfish, uh, doesn't share all the, the things, you know, because you been passing from so much things and you learn things that people doesn't know and doesn't have any idea you can share it and you can inspire so much people and inspire to to be brave and share his his own history you know mm. so what we make is not just about us it's about other people around us too mm. yeah like i'm sure that video hopefully mm -hmm. that video touched other people uh, as well, when we what we made in Guadalajara too, you know what I mean. Just like we'll be sharing stuff, help we touch other people as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you mentioned you started off with drawing. I'm curious what what was your first tattoo and your most recent tattoo uh, you've done so far. <laughs> I remember my first tattoo was in a kind of party mm -hmm. because I led a job in that in that in that moment. I leave one job. So with the money that the prize give me, uh, I bought all the material, mm -hmm. but I feel so in insecure doing mm -hmm. a tattoo because it's something that you have all your life. Mm -hmm. So Big I question. remember I was with, I was, I was with Lloyd and she was my friend in that moment and we hang out with some of his friends and we are talking we are making jokes you know playing video games and things like that and Lloyd does the comment that oh marcus is a tattoo artist he <laughs> does a lot of tattoos and i was just like <clears throat> i was nervous because i never do any tattoo but i have the idea how to do it because i have tattoos already hmm. and i i i follow the the, the lie Mm -hmm. call it like that <laughs> and say oh yes i do so much tattoos <laughs> so we go for the material to my house and some of his friends was very excited and tell me what kind of tattoos they wanted but at first i was just like kind of very nervous because i was it was just, i'm not ready for this this is mm. my first tattoo i'm not ready for this i never do this mm. but at last we are all his friends, including Lloyd and I, get tattooed that night. And I remember I was started in front of the the leg of his friend, and I was very nervous. I was just like, <gasps> it was it was it feels very strange because I started with the needle in the skin, and the, the ink was in the skin over the skin. But when I clean it, I don't see any line, wow. any line. I just hurt the, the skin of, of his friend. I was very nervous because the, the ink doesn't stay in the, in the skin, you know? Mm. But I, I ended, I don't know how, I don't know, really, I don't know how I do the skin, the ink, sorry, the ink stays in the, in the skin. And we do the next tattoo and the next tattoo because I tattooed everybody in that night. Wow. And the last one I, that I did, it was just like, I need to confess something. This was my first tattoos in my life. And everybody was like, oh, what? <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. Were they yeah, they I were think... shocked, right? <laughs> they were shocked. They yeah, were like, wow. It was just like, how, why, why you do your first tattoo over us? But it was just like, we have some fun, you know? Yeah. We, 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 he doesn't feel angry. He, at last, they, there was loud thing and we are making so much jokes. Mm -hmm. But it was too funny that experience, you know? Yeah. That's so I'm cool. glad, I, I'm glad to be in that context because if it was in a more formal context, I just feel ashamed, you know? Mm. And feel a lot of uh, fear of, how to do it and doesn't feel comfortable and maybe uh i don't i don't tattoo it right now you know mm. because all my insecurities and things like that i think that night all the insecurities that i have go away you know because mm. more of like In a plate not, yeah so it was, it was more of a this is energizing and it's relaxing and fun yes. with your friends you know 
<laughs> yes, and it was just like having a good time. We are joking. We are very happy in that moment. Even Loide gets happy in that moment. Wow. Loide tattooed me that night. And it was just like funny because I was just like, <gasps> I don't need to show this hurts because she was hurting me so much. He didn't know <laughs> idea too. Wow. But it was it was it was good. I, I think it was a good memory to to remind every time that people ask me how was my first tattoo. Hmm. That is such a unique story, man. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> I got to hear that because <laughs> I didn't know this. So it's really cool hearing <laughs> because this. Because I, I know so much friends that are starting tattooing. So much of my friends start in a studio or by himself. And it was just like different, you know? Mm. It was different in, in this time. Maybe there's a similar story uh, just like mine. But all the my friends that I met starting doing himself tattoo mm. or in a studio learning mm. with a with a teacher. Hmm. But you said no. I'm gonna just go right for it. That's awesome. I love <laughs> you for that, man. And even even I don't want to try it in in just like a plastic skin mm -hmm. as the practice skin. I don't want to do that because I don't feel comfortable. Mm. Uh, all the tattoos that I had, I do, I do it in skin. Mm. When I was started, I remember uh, before that situation. <laughs> uh, I all the people that comes to me to get tattooed, I explain it that I'm a I'm I'm new on this. I'm yeah. new on this and maybe I commit a mistake. Maybe the tattoo, it's okay. Don't don't be the best tattoo, but I'm learning and and I pay everything. Even the people doesn't the tattoo at first don't bring me money. Mm. All the opposite, you know? I paid everything, all the material, all the needles, everything I paid it. And the people just go with me and get tattooed. Good uh, tattoos or bad tattoos, it was just like funny, you know? Hmm. Uh, I was I was learning like that. I never tattooed a uh, plastic skin or practice skin. Hmm. Awesome, man. So I'm curious <laughs> about the name. Uh, your name on Instagram, Cherry Colored Punk. What is that? Where does that come from? What's the origin for well, that? I'm too fond of music. Even if somebody that we listen to the same music, the same music, see this video and listening Cherry Color Punk, the first thing that comes to mind it was Cherry Color Funk. There was a song <laughs> of the Cocteau Twins. Oh, okay. So I always, I always be fan of the punk rock music. I'm very fan of that because it's very. It was just like me, you know, mm. just it was just kind of I feel a connection to that music for all the energy, because when I was young, I was keeping so much energy. But when I explode, feels like a punk rock song, you know. Yeah. But Cherry Color Funk is a, from a van of Dream Pop and Dream Pop is very, very soft, you know, so it's the combination of being soft and being uh, noisy at the same time, you know? And let me show you faster before you see it. Uh, so it's just like a game of words, not too complex. Yeah. But it's for, for a song. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cherry Color Punk. Yes, Cherry Color Punk. Okay. So I just, I just changed the last word. That's the story. Nice. I didn't I didn't know how to put me a nickname because I see so much of my friends has very good names and great names and it was just like oh. <laughs> I only have my name on Instagram in that moment. I only have Marcos <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> and it was just like this doesn't sound like a like a tattoo account. Mm. And I was just listening to music and and see that song and and I said, oh, I love this song. And yeah. maybe the people will know it's about Cocteau Twins band. Mm. And even I would just I just put it. I don't ask nobody. I was just only alone in my room. But yeah, I, I think it's a combination of the things that I I I am. You know, mm. sometimes I be 
uh, sometimes my tattoos goes too strong and noisy visually mm -hmm. and sometimes it's more soft mm. yeah i was gonna say that I, I see a lot of a balance between you know hard hardcore but it's also some emotion mm -hmm. emotional stuff like within the art yes. as well uh just like i don't know for example like there was one that was like are my parents proud or something like that and my father proud, my mother proud so it's like little messages inside of it too of like like stuff that might be inside for other people mm -hmm. and i think people can relate to some of the phrases or like all my glow is on that's like more of a dream mm -hmm. pop one you know i love how i love the balance between yeah, you know those two i think all my all the things that i do comes first by music mm. because it's one of my biggest inspirations is the the way that i see that i grow old mm. that i grow up and I don't know all the feelings that bring me a song. I try to put it in a paper mm. and trying to interpret all the feelings that the song bring me mm. brings to me. You know, it it was just like, okay, this that that song that part of my all my glowy song is from a turnstile song. You know, okay. Never and when I listening, I it was just like, ah, oh, I really feel that because uh there's a lot of change in my life all these two or three months or four months or six months you know there's a lot of changes in my life and right now i feel just like that you know just like all my glow is on wow. i'm shining right now and i feel like that song comes to my life in that moment and i try to have an uh, interpretation of that mm. i think that's the reason that is in a eye in that painting you know because it's just like my, my all my eyes are open mm. my two eyes are open and i'm i'm see everything clear wow. that's beautiful <laughs> that's beautiful yeah. so you know you, when i was there in guadalajara the first night i was there the next day you had your first exhibit